Hey, in time saints, angels on the front lines for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today is May 1st, May Day, May Day. Thanks, Sis Laura, for reminding me of May Day. Um, it is a, another wicked holiday, imagine that. Beltane, it's um, Witch's Sabbath, the greatest one of the, of the year. Um, and they're doing coven initiations and, of course, more sacrifices. But there is so much going on, y'all. I made about a 45-minute video yesterday, and um, the whole thing deleted. So, like, I recorded it, but there's no recording of it. It was like two seconds, and then it was cut off. So I was just too exhausted to come back on again. Um, we are really bat battling in the spiritual realm as in the physical. The demons, like I said, are manifesting in people, especially those that took the Vizax, you know, the My Sharona charade, the snake bite, the snake venom. They are manifesting. And these de demonic entities, seed of the serpent, hate children of the Most High God. So don't be surprised if... Complete strangers call you horrible names, try to spit on you, um, do weird freak show acts. And this is beyond gang stalking, y'all. I know I've been targeted my whole life, all right? I know what is an act and what isn't. These people are completely possessed. Two days ago, um, one of them tried to jolt me off of a a bench waiting for the bus and there was like eight other benches he could have sat by he didn't sit down he just threw his bag so hard that it jolted me up and then he demonically looked at me and said scared you didn't i with com something like that it was or you're scared or something with the most black demonic eyes i've ever seen maybe not ever but it's been quite a while since i've seen somebody under this much evil and father said he is not human and for me to get up and go to another park bench then when i walked off he started punching the air doing bobbing and moving bobbing and twisting and <laughs> i don't know what they call it but like as if he was a boxer a professional boxer and this was a younger guy he looked like he may have been mid-20s in really good shape um short hair brown hair and he looked like he could have been oriental um, but his eyes were solid black with no soul in them um, then i had another one on the bus pace back and forth grunting today i was called some choice words by another one waiting for me when i got off the bus and then he cussed me out when instead of reacting to being called a b you know what took from a complete stranger I said God bless you in Jesus name and he goes I don't care about that and I said well God bless you anyway and that made the demon in him even more angry now that guy I couldn't see his eyes because I didn't look at him I glanced at him out of my side view as I was walking okay this is getting more and more frequent every time I go out I have to walk everywhere y'all so I'm getting it more than if you're just driving. I'm noticing it. Um, cops are trying to uh, run me over, um, you know, the Buford T. Disjustices, because they are Satan's army. They have been taken over now. They are not human. So again, Father said when Adam and Eve sinned that he would put enmity, okay, which means like, um, like, a war between his seed, which is us, the children of the Most High God, and Satan's seed, which is the seed of the serpent, the snakes in the grass. So they hate us because they ain't us. And I am seeing them manifest like full force, all kinds of crazy things. Every time I walk outside, even when I'm inside, it's happening. Um, just be aware, you have to keep on the full armor at all times. Full armor. We are in a war. 90% is spiritual, like I've been telling y'all, and 10% is in the physical. But it's manifesting more into the physical because we are in the tribulation. I have been maintaining my stand on that for at least a year or two. 
I believe we're coming up on the second part of the trib, the Great Tribulation. We're about to be called up, is why I'm coming on, is to tell y'all what to look for. So, I was in downtown the other day, and that's when more of them were manifesting. People that, that sold out, okay? Or that denied Jesus Christ, that took the snake bite, all right? So, uh, when I got off the bus, I don't go to downtown very often. I'm new to this area. I've only been here for a little while, okay? So, I'm walking, and I see this big billboard thing. Not a billboard, but like a big sign in the middle of downtown and i see what's like one of those symbols they're square and they've got you know different kinds of designs in them where they show up on your phone if you have to like scan something or like on the grocery line because now we're everything's being run by robots right thanks elon um and so uh I read it. I went up and I'm like, what is this? And it says something about just scan your phone if you want to know how to get to wherever. Or like the same thing after the My Sharona charade started that they would have you do when you order at a restaurant. Well, I never did do that. Okay. But I'm still a human. I don't want to be a robot. But um, at the bottom it said... Brought to you by, and I wish I would have wrote it down, but it was something like IGS, IGP, something like that. It started with an I, the letter I. Smart City. And it gave the name of this city. And I'm not in a really big city, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh. They've already started the smart cities. The switch is already on. People are flipping out. Again, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, that is your only hope. Um, all his L is about to break out on this earth. So I've got some good news. If you're targeted, chosen, persecuted for righteousness sake. No, we're not perfect, but we try to live right. We don't harm others. We don't sell out. We're not liars. We're not murderers. We're not witches. We're not Satanists. We are children of the Most High God, and we have been chosen for this final hour. The reason why we're targeted, which is actually persecuted, is because we have to be made worthy before we can be called up. We are going to rule and reign with Jesus Christ, y'all. This is amazing. It is a high honor. Very few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. This is a really extremely hard walk. And so we are the leaders in the new, and it is going down. So Father showed me um, yesterday. I got up and I opened the blinds, and there was four firemen outside. They were, Father already showed me they're Freemasons. They sold out, so they're actually not free. They're Freak Masons. And one of them was pointing up at my window, and I'm up high, okay? I'm not on the first or second floor. We'll just leave it at that. And he's pointing up bright and early, and then the other two, and then the fourth one comes out, and then they do this whole robotic skit. But I was drawn to what they were. They're firemen. That was early in the morning, maybe five, six, probably about six, okay? Um, and then yesterday afternoon, a fire truck parked under my bedroom window, leaving the truck running. The siren wasn't on, but they blew the siren until they all got out. And the whole fire department, well, not the fire department, but the firemen all get out. There's, I don't know, I think there was about four again, funny enough. Um... They get out, they walk down the street, they leave the fire truck running with the lights, the strobe lights, the red lights flashing. And the truck was so loud, it was rattling the floor and the walls. They left it like that for almost a full hour. And no, there was no fire, but Father had me take note. Twice in the same day, I still didn't think too much of it. I thought, oh, it's part of the gang's talking because we know... Yes, even the fire department and the mailman's in on it. So, and y'all that are truly targeted, empowered, 
chosen know that I'm telling you the truth. Sad but true. So the heroes in blue are not heroes. They sold out. They worked for Lucifer. So anyway, but the third time was last night. So I'm getting something out of the oven. Actually, it was fish. And funny, that's what I'm fixing to tell y'all happened again. I'm getting fish out of the oven and it didn't pop on me. The, like the, um, the oil or anything didn't pop up. But because I didn't have an oven mitt, <laughs> I used a towel. So I had to get my hand kind of in there a little ways. And I felt the heat from the fire so hot that my hand was red. And it was only in there for like five seconds, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, I almost burnt my hand. And Father said, fire. Called, he called me to, to remember last year, I made a video about it, about the fireballs. There was a bunch of bottles, airplane bottles on an abandoned building when I was staying in another city, it was in Georgia, okay? Last year, I have videos out about it. Some of y'all will remember. I want to say it was maybe around this same time of year. And that's how Father does with prophetic words. Some people are like, oh, they're a false prophet. It didn't happen. Prophetic words don't happen the very next day. A lot of time it takes five, ten years. But because we're so close to the end, everything is coming to pass quick. So Father is reminding me of that. And now he's showing me it's about to take place when he started showing me last year. So I was shown fire. I was like, what are those on the roof? And they were little airplane bottles. What is airplane? It flies. It's in the air. And what were they of? Fireballs. Father told me when the fireballs come down, we go up. We go through a crossing. We're covered by a palm. Okay, um, it's too long. It's, it'll take too long to explain it, but I'll try to find that video and link it so y'all can see how this is all coming together right now. Okay, so now I'm on the bus. Um, there is a guy that was following me. I recognized him from another bus stop that he got off. Then he gets on and off at the same one, ends up following me yet again. And he's wearing black pants with a red stripe down the side. This is the fourth day in a row that more than five or six people in one little area will all be wearing black pants with, with red stripes or black pants with red and white stripes. And Father said, this is signifying you have earned your stripes. Get it? We have been beaten. We have been beaten down. We've lost everything. We've lost everyone. Some of us have had our pets poisoned or killed. Some of y'all, I don't have children, but some of y'all have had your own children turned on you. All of our family, all of our friends that weren't really friends anyway, our Judases. Um, most of us, have, or some of us, I'm saying if you're one of the 144, you have been homeless, even if it was only for six months or something. We've had everything taken from us. We have earned our stripes, our badge of honor. Just like Jesus was beat with his stripes. We are not physically being beaten, although some of us have been, and we've been raped and all this other kind of stuff. And our house is broken into and everything stolen and falsely accused, not once but twice for me, by the Buford T. Disjustices. We have earned our stripes. We have not denied the Most High God. We still... Continue to tell people, Jesus loves you. Please repent. Even that man today that I've never seen him before, okay? And he says, he calls me a bee. You know what? And I said, God bless you in Jesus' name. And he goes, I don't care about that. And I said, well, Jesus loves you anyway. And then he cussed again. Father showed me these people hate Jesus that dwells in us. They hate the Holy Spirit. They're being taken over by demons. They're miserable. But most are not fully human that are that are acting to that. Or acting... Or not acting. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm pretty tired. Um, going to that extent to be ugly. Okay? And it's to try to provoke. And right, when, right after that happened, a cop appeared. And... and Honestly, if I wouldn't have been looking, he could have hit me. Ran, ran, didn't run a stop sign, but ran the, the curve. Didn't stop or anything. And, 
and then slows down after he passed me up. And it was all to try to provoke me, so I would say something and the cop can come and take me in. Well, you have to be aware of how Satan's minions work, okay? Because when there's one, you can bet your bottom dollar there's 50 more because they're cowards. This is the satanic hive mind. It's in full effect, okay? So there is nothing to fear but fear itself um, except denying the Most High God. We have gone through the fiery trial that the Bible talks about, a.k.a. being targeted, okay? And we've been found worthy. We have not denied Jesus Christ. We've not sold out to the system. We didn't take the, the mark, the viz uh, We try to love our neighbor as ourself. We try not to sin. We've all fallen short, okay? But we try to walk the straight and narrow. We don't murder. We don't do witchcraft. Okay? So Satan hates us because he ain't us. So we're about to be called up is the whole point of this. So after that happened, I kept my peace. Remember, Father said, keep your peace and I will fight for you. He's fighting for us, y'all. I'm not even having to do anything. These wicked people, demons, demonic entities, fallen angels, slea stack, whatever you want to call them, they are turning on each other. There is chaos and confusion in the camp of our enemies who encircle around us. Father's taking care of it. He's about to call us up. So this is the finale. So while I'm on the bus, I sat down. Oh, and by the way, it started pouring down rain when I get off the bus and then when I get back off to go home. Both times, there was no rain in the forecast. And Father's showing me his rain. His rain is about to come down. Satan is ruling and reigning right now, but it's about to be over with. So Father told me to look down and pick this up. No, I never pick up stuff that's laying on the ground on a bus, okay? But I know Father's voice. And I thought it was, I honestly thought it was going to be uh, the same sign I got when my little dog um, passed last year. Um, I shared it with y'all. It was a candy wrapper, and it had a cardinal on it. And I know that cardinals are visitors from heaven. So that's what I thought this was because it was turned like this. And Father said, pick it up. This is part of the sign. Hold on, i got to make sure I've got it. It's so tiny of writing and there's hardly any light in here. Because we are the light. This is what it says. Atomic fireball. Atomic fireball. I knew there was some candies called Fireball, but honestly, I would forgot about them. I never had one. I didn't know they were called Atomic. Atomic Bomb, Atomic Fireball. F Father told me when the fireballs come down, again with the fire, okay? Remember the three things with the fire yesterday? We go up. It's about to, it's about to happen. So again, right before I got on here, I cooked some more fish. This time I was making it a different way and so I stuck a fork in there in the oven to see if it was done and the oil popped up and hit me you can still see where this is swollen right here it hit me only right here I mean you, you can't plan that you can't make this up this just happened not even like 45 minutes ago it's still puffed up it still hurts a little bit okay right on that finger and I went, ow! And then Father said, okay, do you all see the symbology? Yesterday I stuck my hand in and it was really hot. And today it actually burned me. We're ramping it up. It's about to happen. Um, but it was fish both nights. So what are we? We're fishers of men. Today, yesterday it was really hot. The fish were hot. Okay? Today... It popped, so we're about to pop out, go up. Incidentally, how it, I hope y'all can see this, it's actually puffed up. On the ring finger on my right hand, right where a ring would go. And Father said, my ring is on your right hand. 
the left-handed path, that is those that sold out to the system. They walk the left-handed path. Everything is on the left. Your left, your left, your left, right, left, even that. They sing left three times in Satan's army, which is the military of this world. They're controlled by Satan. Whether they know it or not, whether they got into the military trying to do something right, they drill them in the arm when they first get in there with these giant drills. That does something to them, and then they brainwash them. And now they're just, they're, they're beyond. So that's a whole nother story. But this it signifies how it hit me right there, right where a ring would go on the right hand. And Father said, we're about to go to the wedding, to the marriage feast. We are being made worthy. We are the bride of Christ. We are about to be called up. This is real, y'all. Also, Naomi Judd died yesterday, and Father said that's also signifying. We know it was a satanic sacrifice, but what was she? She's a mother to two daughters, okay? And Naomi was in the Bible. Naomi in the Bible was a mother to two sons. She lost her two sons, and Ruth followed her, okay? It's all significant. I have a whole nother thing about what that has to do with some things I was shown which have to do with Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a high watch. Father had me, uh, or reminded me of a dream I had, I wanna say it was the 9th of April. I made a video about it. I was in my old house, my childhood home, okay? And I saw my old friend who was also my neighbor named Susan. And she had her key in the door about to turn it. And I said, hi, Susan, happy day after Mother's Day. And she said, you too, or something like that. She was wearing a yellow or gold rain coat. Now it rains today. Father said, his rain. Gold coat. Got the gold jacket. Shooter McGavin's turn. Give me that gold jacket, okay? The gold jacket, streets of gold. We have our gold crowns waiting for us. We've been purified through the fire as gold. She was wearing it as a raincoat, Father's rain. Jesus is ruling and reigning. He's about to come down, and we're going to be ruling and reigning with him as leaders in the new. Her name was Susan. What does Susan mean? It means lily or rose. Okay, so lily could be symbolize Lilith, which is the the evil side, and rose is like Jesus, who is the rose. That's why they wear roses mocking the blood of Christ. The Rosicutians, the Templar Knights, the witches, they do this kind of stuff. Um, so it's a battle of good and evil. And good already won because Jesus won for us by dying for our sins on the Christ on the cross and the third day what did he do he rose jesus is the rose then he was on the earth for 40 days before he ascended i believe that we're in that 40 days remember father told me you're about to go into the wilderness we're in the wilderness already that's why it's so just beyond crazy and evil right now Okay, we are about out of here. I believe it could be no one knows the day or the hour, but could it be Mother's Day? So the dream was Susan. So she means a, a lily or a rose, the battle of good and evil, like Cain and Abel, cannibal, right? And um, she's wearing the raincoat, gold raincoat. She has her key in the door, but has not opened the door yet. That was about th almost three weeks ago. So on Mother's Day... It would be, funny enough, right at 30 days. Remember last month I was told the 18th, something with the 18th. Well, 40 days from Easter, which is when Jesus rose. He did not ascend yet. He was on the earth for 40 days. He showed himself to Mary Magdalene, all the disciples, and a few other people. Okay? So he walked the earth for 40 days. But if you count from Easter the next day, okay, which would be the 18th through 40 days, that would put it around the 27th of this month. So anytime this month, a month is a high watch is all I'm saying. 
trying to put all this together as quick as I can because there I am overloaded with downloads from Father. Just like so much. I don't even know how to organize it to tell y'all. So I apologize when I... Hold on, let me see if this is even working. Oh, good, it's still on. I apologize when I'm all over the place, but if I don't just speak as I'm thinking of things, I don't know if I'll get everything out. And I've been shown so much more, y'all, so much more. But I just know that the enemy's camp is coming against me full force. And I should be getting really upset in the natural in the in the natural not only in the spiritual but in the natural realm and aggravated it's not affecting me all i can say is i have a calm and a peace about me that i've that i haven't had before like when they're trying to spit on me and and cops are trying to run me over and i've got all these stalkers in the building now and all these witches and all this kind of crazy stuff it'll trigger me to say something bad I'm never mean, but I'll say, you better repent. Or I'll say, it's a gaggle of gang stalkers. Satan's minions. Die him a dozen or something like that. It's like, I just have a peace about me. Now, I have made some jokes uh, today. I said something early this morning when I, when I went and got a little bit of exercise. I was surrounded. Every single person. Apparently, to live in this neighborhood, you have to wear red every day. Some people wear the same color red, and they're not homeless, by the way. I see them go into their houses. Some of them have nice houses around the corner. They, they wear the same red every day, the same red shirt every single day. So apparently, to live over here, you have to have signed a waiver stating, yes, I will obey the, the law of the land and wear red, signifying I've sold out to Satan, just like the Templar Knights did, just like the Nazis did. That's what we're living in, y'all. But this morning, I wasn't angry at all. I was in a good mood. And shout out to Gang Stalking Simulation, DB. His channel is hilarious. I appreciate. He can actually get. I just started watching him, y'all. And not very often because I very rarely watch videos. But sometimes I just need a break and want to watch something that's like 5, 10 minutes long. Uh, that's something funny. And he's got a great sense of humor. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to say that I didn't think of this. Now, I've said stuff like, um, I've walked out of the buildings before and said, Attention! The target has left the building. Swarm! Swarm! I'll come up with stuff like that. But this was him. He thought of this. And he's been going by his stalkers. And he can get them on film. I, my, my phone doesn't work. Nine out of ten times, my phone won't even take a picture. And I can't record anything on my phone. Um, so shout out that he'll get videos of these clowns, but he said, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to gang stalking street? And I thought that was so funny. So this morning after I'd seen that video, it stuck in my head and I was surrounded. One was an Eastern star. How do I know this? Y'all know if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit tells you the other one was a Freemason and they were trying to block the sidewalk rather than you know, get to one side, one's got one and one's the other to where I step in wet grass. Who cares? Not a big deal. But I said, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Gang Stalking Street? Like Sesame Street, if y'all are over about 40, you'll remember that song. And she goes, what? This is whatever, Central Ave or whatever it was. Like it made her mad and I was laughing. I just laughed and he frowned like... He got it. I don't think she even got that I was joking, right? So just look at it as it's it's a joke. They're the, they're like the paparazzi. We're freaking famous, y'all. I'll make you famous, Billy the Kid, Young Guns, Regulators. So, um, but what I was saying is it doesn't affect me. I'm like very calm now because I know we're about out of here. So that's what Father wanted me to end this with is that um, or maybe not end it with, but this is what I'm going to end it with. The Father told me to tell y'all is that you need to be ready. Make sure that you're not sinning. Make sure that you don't have any unrepented sin. I know y'all aren't sinning, but no unrepented sin. Okay? 
Repent. If you even think a wrong thought, repent. If you get angry, we can be angry. Righteous anger, but sin not. Release and ask the Lord to fill you with joy and remove the anger because we have to be, we have to be, have a clean vessel to go up and we're getting lighter and lighter. As the days get darker and darker, we grow brighter and brighter. So Satan's army hates the light. So they're going to come against us. It's like moss to a flame, right? The demons are attracted to us. But when they get near, they can't get... None of them got close to me, y'all. Everything was done from a distance. Like the guy that threw his, his big backpack and some other... I don't know what it was. But he threw it real hard. He threw it on the bench. He couldn't even come and set it down. They cannot get close to us, but they can get in our vicinity and then yell and taunt. Okay? Because like moss to a flame, demons are, they can see our light just like the witches see our light, the, the Satanists and all that. But they can't penetrate unless we have a crack in our armor. So just make sure you're repenting. You're staying close to the Lord, and you're walking that straight and narrow because we could be called up at any time, y'all. I love y'all. And look. <laughs> oh, there. I was going to say, curses. My cursor is gone. Tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. And by the way, all these things that they're coming with, the Johnny Depp. Get it? Depp. The Deep. The uh, uh, Apollyon has, the destroyer has opened the pit, which is in the earth, the deep, in the waters. Johnny Depp, and that's funny because that goes with my dream the other day, where Michael, which I believe was symbolic of Archangel Michael, um, said sh shots, free shots for everybody, and there was only three. It was me, him, and someone else. Three, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is funny. And he said, but you can only do Jack Daniels. This was a dream, y'all. I No, I wasn't drinking. But um, And I was like, I know Daniel is Book of Daniel, but what would Jack be? And uh, shout out to, to Sis Jade. She, uh, she said it's for John. So the Book of John. But then I also thought, well, Jack was Johnny Depp. Hence, he plays his own self. Okay? Jack Sparrow. In Pirates of the Caribbean, which is a shipwreck, all these demons are manifesting in it. That's what we're witnessing. We are about to go through the deep, the waters, which is the firmament spoken of in the Bible. That is the sky they tell us is the sky. Everything is a lie. Me, oh my, all in the bayou. And we're going to be freed from this matrix. So get ready to regulate. Um, I'll be seeing y'all at the wedding. It could be any day now, y'all. And I got a burnt finger to, to prove it. 